I never had the courage to say I don't love you anymore. Thirty-three years. Gone in a blink. Hey. How's the interview? Fine. It was a sweet young thing. Hi. Uh, Joe Fernandez from the Theatre Confidential SG Podcast. Oh, hi. Nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you. And um, Peter? Oh, uh, um, it's just me today. Pete's mum had a fall, Oh, so... yes, I caught your message. Yeah, so sorry, but don't worry about that. Okay. Shall we? Thank you. Did you eat him alive? No. Anyway, we need all the publicity we can get for the show. You charmed him. I hope so. Now that I think about it, I've never seen you perform in person. Oh. Yes, at uni, we watched a video of Medea's Last Sin. You did? Yes, at some theatre history class, but no one makes stuff like that anymore. And I have to say, your Medea gave me nightmares. Was it the blood? No. It was the manic sexual energy. Mm. Do you make theatre? You look like an artist. I used to make theatre, but these days I just talk about it. <laughs> You should do TV or film. You have the face for it. Maybe with your help. Oh, well, let's, sure. Seeing as Peter's not here, I was hoping we could make this podcast episode about you and your comeback. Oh, okay, that's nice. I mean, we'll keep it casual, nothing crazy. Okay. We can talk more, maybe edit it later, and the segment's just about three minutes long. So, are you ready? Anytime. Perfect. Hey listeners, hello, hello. Today I am with actress Jane Ishmael, who is starring in the upcoming theatre production Deep in the Heart of Me. For those who don't know Jane Ishmael, shame on you. <laughs> she has worked with all major theatre companies in Singapore in the 90s and 2000s, and this is her comeback. Thanks for talking to us, Jane. Thanks for having me. It's an honour, really. Wow, this lady is a legend. Can you tell us what making theatre in the 90s was like? Back in the day, it was wild. We were all so hungry to go out there and try things. We made our own rules then. Many of us had proper jobs in the day and then made art at night. It, the, the creative energy was, was contagious. So what was your day job? I was a lawyer. What? <laughs> And you gave that up for theatre? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yes. <laughs> and it's been, say, 15 years since you've been on stage. So what have you been doing? Well, I did voiceover work and a bit of teaching. I guess life happened. You know, ageing parents, mortgage, illness. I mean, why did you stop acting then? You were at the top of your game. To be honest, Joe. I stopped loving theatre. I no longer found joy from it. As an actor, you are defined by the characters you play. And I had been acting for 20 years. I felt I needed to step away from the lights for Jane Ismail to emerge. And who is she? Mm, is this therapy? <laughs> well, at... 57, I would say I'm much calmer, much less hot-headed, and possibly at peace with myself. And wiser? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> what is your relationship with the characters you play after a performance? Most of the time, you inhabit your characters for the run of the show and then they disappear. But for some characters, they get under your skin. They become part of your life, like Lisa in this play. Oh, could you tell us more about Lisa? Well, Lisa is like many women I know, women of a certain generation, trapped by duty and ideals of marriage. She loses herself. 
And this play is about her journey to find herself again. Mm. And the play explores marriage and infidelity in a raw and intimate way. Yes. Could you tell us more about that? Well, the thing about affairs, Joe, is that someone is having one somewhere. A lot of the time, right under the noses of their partners. Because nobody knows what is going on in a marriage. Not even the people in it. That fascinates me. So, are you saying infidelity is actually very common? Well, it also depends on what you think constitutes as infidelity. We're all human, for goodness sake. Don't you agree? Indeed. For fans of The Finishing Line, TV funny guy Peter Kuma, who is married to Jane, plays her husband in this performance. So, Jane, what is it like being a married couple playing a married couple? We've acted many times together when Peter was a stage actor. It's been great. We're comfortable with each other. Uh, we have a robust debate in the rehearsal room and there are many experiences for us to draw from. Such as? The ups and downs. <gasps> the disappointments when your heart shatters into a thousand pieces. <laughs> Being deliriously in love. and the loneliness. The loneliness in a long-term relationship. How's mom? She's fine, a bit shaken. They want to keep her overnight for observation. Hey, I can come over in an hour. No, no. You should just stay at home. I'll learn lines. You can test me later. <laughs> All right, see you at home. Okay, bye. I don't love you. I don't love you anymore. I don't. I don't love you Knee high, waist deep, nearly there. Breath in and go.